Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour. We will start our plenary session on Eastern Europe, South Caucasus, and Central Asia facing the Ukrainian war. I'm really happy to moderate this session because it's the first time, I think, that we have at the WPC the participants from post-Soviet countries. And I will come back on this definition of post-Soviet countries. I'm very glad to introduce Olga Roshka, Chief of Staff of the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and European Integration of Moldova, Roman Vasilenko, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, thank you to be here in person, and Lasha Darsalia, by video, First Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of Georgia. The Ukraine is the first victim of the Russian aggression, but other neighboring countries are also suffering from shocks at different levels. I think about the flow of migrants, I think about energy pressures by Russia. It should be noted that a great part of Kazakhstan gas passed by uh, Caspian pipeline consortium through Russian territory. There are unresolved conflicts in Transnistria, in Moldova, in Abkhazia and South Ossetia, in Georgia, and there are many Russian speakers in the north of Kazakhstan. As we can notice, we didn't put in the title of this panel post-Soviet states. We preferred the long version Eastern Europe, South Caucasus and Central Asia with three countries, each represented uh, here uh, from this three geographical area, because uh, three decades after the fall of the Soviet Union, the question arises about the coherence of this space. 